From reviews about the most revolting airline meals to the crazy statistics on delays. Today, we'll dive into the five worst airlines on the planet, backed by real hard-hitting data. Brace yourself for the number one spot, because you will definitely be shocked to say the least. But first, let's start at the bottom of the list with number five, Air India. Air India, once a government-owned airline, has faced a lot of criticism when it comes to customer experience. With an impressive average of 13,109 flights per month, their performance on these flights isn't something to be proud of. The statistics reveal a grim picture. Only 60.5% of their flights manage to stay on schedule within 15 minutes of the planned time of departure, while the other 39.5% of the observed flights suffered delays. The average delay for these flights was about 52 minutes. We're learning about an Air India flight that's been delayed. It was slated to travel from Mangaluru to Dubai. Passengers are furious at the Mangaluru airport. It's not surprising that Air India has faced criticism for its below-par customer service in the past, given its history as a government-owned airline that didn't prioritize profits. However, the recent transition of the airline from state ownership to private ownership by the well-known Indian Tata Group has been met with cautious optimism. The transition is expected to bring improvements, especially since Tata has placed an order for 500 new aircrafts, a move that holds the promise of modernizing the current outdated fleet. However, cleaning up the mess left by decades of mismanagement is no small task and will take time. When it comes to the compensation claim processing of Air India, the situation is far from ideal. On average, it takes the airline 40.2 days to respond to a compensation claim once it's submitted. Once they do respond, it then takes them an additional 33.5 days to resolve the claim. So, in total, you could be waiting for two to three months to receive a compensation you're entitled to. This isn't an ideal situation for travelers who have already faced delays and inconveniences during their journeys. But just wait until you hear the next ones. Moving on to number four on our list, TAP Portugal. TAP Portugal is an airline with some budget-like aspects, but not quite matching the fares offered by true budget airlines such as Ryanair or EasyJet. If you choose to fly with TAP Portugal, be prepared for some inconveniences in exchange for these potentially lower prices. TAP Portugal operates an average of 10,955 flights per month, but unfortunately, only 62% of these flights manage to arrive within 15 minutes of their scheduled arrival time. This means that a significant 38% of their flights fail to arrive on time. What's worse is that if you happen to be on one of these delayed flights, you'll have to endure an average of a 44 minute wait. This can be a significant disruption to your travel plans and potentially result in missed connections or other complications. When it comes to processing compensation claims, TAP Portugal doesn't fare much better. On average, it takes the airline 72 days to respond to a compensation claim a substantial waiting period for passengers seeking resolution. Once they do respond, the ordeal is far from over, as it takes an astonishing 156 days to settle the claim, and an additional 151 days to actually pay it out. That means a compensation claim process can literally take up over a year, and this raises questions about the efficiency and customer-centric approach of the airline, as passengers have to wonder why it takes so long to address their concerns. Number three on our list is Philippine Airlines, but unfortunately, it doesn't get better from here. If you're considering flying with them, there are several potential concerns to be aware of, including delayed flights, poor customer service, mishandled baggage, a lack of compensation, outdated aircrafts, and questionable pricing. Based on these factors, travelers, particularly those planning long international flights, often consider alternative airlines. Philippine Airlines operates an average of 9,499 flights per month, and here's how they stack up. Flights arriving within 15 minutes of their scheduled arrival time make up only 66% of the total flights. This means that a concerning 34% of their flights are delayed. The average delay for these late flights is 54 minutes, making these delays more than just minor inconveniences. They received an email from Philippine Airlines saying their flight was cancelled due to aircraft maintenance. Taking the second place on our list is Tunis Air. If you're curious about what contributes to being one of the world's worst airlines, a quick look at Tunis Air's statistics will provide you with a clear picture. 
Tunisair operates an average of 2,569 monthly flights. But the on-time performance is dismally low. Only 41% of these flights manage to arrive within 15 minutes of their scheduled arrival time, which is far from a reassuring figure. The remaining larger proportion of 59% of their flights are plagued by substantial delays, with an average delay of a whopping 69 minutes. Beyond the poor on-time performance, there's another glaring issue. If you happen to be one of the many customers who have experienced a delayed or canceled flight with Tunis Air, seeking compensation is no easy task. Tunis Air will make you wait a staggering 408 days after receiving your claim before responding, which is an excruciatingly long wait for passengers seeking resolution. If your case progresses further, you'll need to endure another 408 days for them to settle the claim and a further 254 days to actually receive your compensation if it's mandated by the court. Yes, you heard that correctly. It can almost take up to three years before you will receive a potential compensation for your delayed flight. All this makes Tunis Air a challenging airline to rely on for a smooth and hassle-free travel experience. But this isn't as bad compared to the next one. Topping the list as the number one worst airline is Pakistan International Airlines. While they managed to have a slightly better on-time performance compared to the previous contender, there are several concerning aspects that place Pakistan International Airlines in this unfavorable position. Pakistan International Airlines operates an average of 3,568 flights per month, with 65% arriving within 15 minutes of their scheduled arrival time. This leaves 35% of their flights experiencing delays of 15 minutes or more. The average delay for these late flights is a significant 74 minutes. But it's not just these poor statistics that rank Pakistan International Airlines at the top of this list as the worst airline. They have faced significant troubles, particularly in their operations to Europe and the UK. Pakistan International Airlines flights to Europe and the UK were suspended after the European Union's Aviation Safety Agency revoked the National Carrier's authorization to fly to Europe in 2020. This decision was made in response to a fake pilot license scandal that rocked the airline. It was revealed that more than 30% of Pakistan International Airlines pilots held fake licenses. Of Pakistan's civil pilots in the civilian fleet have been flying using what's called fake licenses. Ayat is calling it a serious lapse. Leading to a severe blow to the airline's credibility and safety standards. While there is hope for improvement on the horizon, Pakistan International Airlines is expected to restart flights to Britain within the next three months. And later, flights to Europe and America will also resume. However, the damage to their reputation has already been done. Travelers considering Pakistan International Airlines for their journeys should exercise caution and monitor developments to ensure safety and reliability in the future. Let's hope they improve. In conclusion, while this information sheds light on the performance of these airlines, always conduct your own research before booking. Travel experiences can vary and circumstances change. Like and subscribe if you found this video interesting. Until next time.